Um, I do expect to die, and I do expect to lose ships. Ahoy, salty dogs! My name is Lenscap. Welcome to the Star Squadron server. Thank you guys. I want to say really quick, uh, before I get started with this episode, uh, that I don't say this enough, but thank you so much for all the all the likes and all the support that you guys have been leaving um, on not just Star Made, but on all of my videos lately. Um, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, it's it's a really big deal to me, and, and I really appreciate it. Uh, this channel would be nothing without you guys, and uh, I just want to throw that out there. Um, I know I don't say it enough, so thank you for that, and thank you for the support on the other series as well. I know uh, that Star Made is real heavy on my channel, and people really, 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 really like my Star Made stuff, um, and I definitely appreciate that you're willing to go out and watch the other stuff too. Um, I think it's great content, uh, but that's me personally. I'm a little biased because I made it. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I wanted to show you the login screen because this is new on the Star Squadron server. Um, at the end of the summer, there will be combat. Start building a fleet for confrontation. Uh, yes. I don't know who did this, but this is an amazing idea. We're gonna fight each other. This sounds fun. <laughs> We're, we've got a war going on, like it makes sense. Uh, and now we kind of have a deadline for when the war is gonna be. How is Lenscap gonna factor into this? I'm not really sure. Being a neutral party at the moment... I don't really know. Um, we'll just have to see which side's going to pay me the most, I guess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and spawn in and start the episode here. I've got a couple of things that I want to that I want to point out, and, uh, and then we can get started. But I want to hop into some gravity. We're here in the misguided assumptions uh, right now. And I want to talk about ship naming conventions first. Uh, so last episode, we kind of changed the way I... Whoops, bumped my microphone. We kind of changed the way uh, that I do the ship naming conventions. And I changed it again, uh, partially because when you select a ship, I want it to be very easy and very clear. And uh, I, honestly, I want the names to be as short as possible. So if we select that one, it just says Ashes. Privateer, that's my faction. Everybody knows it, so you can identify who it is. And fleet, I just said cap, uh, because that's my current active fleet. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to do the fleets yet. Um, I did ask for ideas for uh, fleet names, and I, I, got some good, I got some good suggestions. I really did. Um, I got some that had some lore behind them and, a, and like, backstory and stuff, and that's awesome. I really think that uh, would be a really cool addition but, so here's the thing. Uh, for me, I want the fleet names to be short. As short as possible is better, um, because when you look at the ships, I want it to be able to tell as a, at a glance what ship it is, right? So, cap. Three letters, short as possible. Um, we want easy, easy to remember, easy to, to notice at a glance, you know. Um, uh, fewer words, fewer letters even is, is better than, uh, than more. Um, I do love your suggestions, and I love to hear it, um, so I, I want to hear, I want to keep hearing from you guys. I think that's awesome. I, I love to get feedback from you. Uh, that was, that was that. So let's take a look at this fleet now. One thing we're going to do is, uh, today, in this episode, we want to test out the fleets a little bit more. Um, we've been spending a lot of time working on our fleet, and I definitely want to continue doing that, especially now that we've learned there's combat. I'm actually going to have to make my fleets combat capable instead of just uh, a shuttle and an escort. <laughs> so um, we're going to have to build a fighter. We're going to have to build a big like capital ship. Like It's going to have to be an amazing fleet. We want to be worth paying for, you know? We want to be the deciding factor in the upcoming war since, um, you, you know, whichever side pays us the most, we want to make sure that that side wins, right? That's, that's who we are. So, <laughs> um, we'll need to, we'll need to work on that in the upcoming weeks. But today, I want to play around with the fleets a little bit more and kind of understand the limitations on their AI. Um, what I'm going to do is take the ashes um, and remove it from our fleet. Um, now, we're not going to delete the ship or anything. It's just going to live in space right here over the salty shipyard. But we're going to take the minutes of midnight, and uh, we're going to take the misguided assumptions, and we're going to do a couple of things to test out the fleet AI. Um, we want to have an escort ship. Actually, I'm thinking we leave the minutes of midnight as well. 
Um, although, you know what? I want two ships in the fleet uh, so we can really get a feel for how the AI kind of responds to that kind of stuff. So, but what we're going to do, um, I wanted to see first, how do fleets interact with elements in the universe? So we already know that they're not smart enough to travel long distances, um, but I think we're going to test that again. To, to see if that's improved any. Uh, there have been some updates, including bug fixes and whatnot. So we want to check that out. Um, I want to know how the fleets will interact with a warp gate. And I want to know how the fleets will interact with black holes. Now, I've never explored this black hole uh, or this black hole like chain, but it does like go in a full circle. So I'm thinking we just kind of circle the galaxy like this, explore some new terrain. Um, and then we can return back to where we start and go home from there. I want to see if the fleets are smart enough to do that. So I think what I'm going to do, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to manually fly the ship. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's do this. We're going to hit K. We're going to order the fleet to... Uh, let's. I think if we do idle in formation, and then we're going to have to move since that ship is now uh, in a different place in the fleet. Look how derpy it is. It's crashing into the other one. And that ship hopefully doesn't just float on forever. It probably will spin for a while, but minutes to midnight, come over here. Yeah, this is not starting off very well, is it? <laughs> um, okay, well, the first thing I want to do is check out warp gates. I want to see if they're able to use warp gates. Um, I know jump drives are not really a thing. So... Let's see, you want to be on my left, so I will help you out a little bit. And what we want to do is check out the warp gate. So let's let's, let's zip on over to the uh, salty shipyard to spawn warp gate here. We'll see if that other ship is going to follow us. Um, I've never tried warp gates with fleets. I Honestly, I don't expect this to work. Um, I know they can't use jump drives. I don't know about warp gates. So I guess we'll find out. Um, I'll go ahead and charge my jump drive in case we need it later. And I think what we'll do is just kind of park in front of the warp gate, wait for the other ship to get up next to us, and then uh, we'll try and uh, we'll fly through it. Okay, so while the Ashes freaks out and tries to find its place in the fleet, um, I'm just going to park right here for a second and... Uh, dude, that is crazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna park right here for a second and take a look at this warp gate. I know some of you probably haven't seen it if you're newer subscribers, and this is one of my coolest things, I think, that I have on the server. Um, these are the warp gates I use. So warp gates uh, in Star Made, you know, allow you to traverse fast distances in space quickly. Um, I have one here near my base, the Salty Shipyard, um, and I have another one in our spawn. We built a warp gate hub in the spawn. Um, so a bunch of people have warp gates set up there. We can kind of traverse, go to and fro like that. And uh, it allows us to easily, uh, you know, travel the distance between each other's spaces. This is not working out at all. Let's tell this dude to idle. You gotta calm down. And then we'll try idle information again. Yeah, okay, that fixed it. He's just... Uh, Fleets are a little strange. That's why I'm not expecting our test today to be very successful. But I do want to test. I want to know um, the limits, right? It's always important to know that kind of stuff. So let's try this. Uh, I'm basically just going to fly our shuttle through. And I'm going to go slow so that the ashes can keep up with us and see if it teleports the ashes too. Uh, I should have plenty of space. Oh, he's freaking out. Hold on. Okay, well, I jumped. And I'm in the warp gate. And the ashes did not jump. Which is what I expected. I didn't think it was going to be smart enough to do that. Let's look on the map and see if we can't find out where it is. I suspect it's still in that sector with our gate. Yeah, I don't see it on the map now. Let's see, where are we? We're here. Of course, at the hub. Oh, you know what? It looks like it's here. Nearby. There's Craig, the NPC. It says the fleet is here. 
What if we do this? Order idle information. Let's see what happens. I'm not seeing. I have no idea where it is. Okay, let's try this then. Let's try one other thing. Let's hop out of the core of this ship. We're seated so we don't go anywhere. Let's switch these. N-A-N-A -N -A unloaded. Okay, so he's back. Okay, so, well, that answers my questions then. He's still back at the Salty Shipyard. So let's warp back, and I don't think the the wormholes are going to work either then. Um, but it's definitely worth, worth a test. There we go. And now Ashes is close by again. So let's find out where we are. Okay, stop moving. And where is the ashes? Oh, it looks like he was flying, he was trying to fly manually to us. Okay, that's interesting, that's interesting. So let's order this dude and tell them to idle in formation. And he's too far away, so let's get closer to him so that he's not unloaded anymore. And see if that helps us out any. Oh, wait a minute, no, what? no, 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 no. We took the minutes to midnight, didn't we? And we left the ashes at, uh, this is the one we want. Where's he? He's coming over. He's doing his thing. It still looks like, same kind of situation, though. It still looks like he was trying to manually fly in our direction. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's let him get uh, get his bearings back and fly back over to us. Yeah, he went far away. <laughs> um, we'll let him catch up, and then we'll try the next maneuver. Um, basically, I'm just going to set a destination for the center of the black hole and see what the fleet does. Um, I do expect to die, and I do expect to lose ships. So um, that's okay. We can, we can build new ships. All right, and we're back, and the Minutes to Midnight has returned to its position. So next, let's go ahead and plot our course to the black hole and see what happens. We're just going to go to this one. Now, let's see. What are the coordinates of the center of the black hole? That looks to be about the center. So, selected system uh, Vudalamas, Lamamas. That's kind of a cool name. But it is 56 minus 839. So we need to go to order here. First, we want to hop out of our core so we can automatically do it. We want to go to order, move fleet, and it was 56 minus 8. Dang it, man, I forgot. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Okay, eventually, come on. There we go, that's it. So. Uh, now that's a different sector completely. I thought it was like 56. Select a system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 56 minus 840. We were at 39 before, but I guess we want 40. 56 minus 840. Okay. Uh, what buttons? Whoa, order. Move fleet. 56 minus 840. Okay. Now let's see what they do. Um, I fully suspect that uh, they're just going to freak out. And, oh, I want to turn on the dust particles so we can see us moving uh, again, just like uh, the last episode. While we're moving around, I'm going to leave dust particles on, but while we're flying and building and stuff, um, I'll turn them off. Uh, they, they're a great indication of speed and motion, so um, I like to keep them on for that. We've got the Minutes of Midnight selected so we can make sure that it's keeping up with us. And let's see, can we, let's, let's actually set a waypoint for this destination uh, so that we can kind of plot path to current. So we can kind of watch out for where it's coming, coming up. All right, so looking at the map uh, versus what I'm visually seeing here is very interesting. If we look at the map, then we're pretty much going straight to the black hole. Um, as far as like this angle goes, it looks like probably what's happening is the ship is headed along this axis straight there, and then it will turn and go this axis to there. 
Um, if that's the case, that would be similar to the way the fleets do when you tell them to idle in, floor, in formation. They kind of fly next to the ship at whatever angle they are and then orient themselves properly. So that seems logical that that's actually the way that that, that is working. Now, if we look at this view, then it looks like we're way off course, but we still are getting closer to it. Um, but I, I've also had experiences where the waypoints, especially over vast distances like this, the, the waypoints are just wrong. Uh, they just, they're wrong. Like once we get closer, it'll reload. Um, in the past, I've gotten a little impatient with the fleets and not let it run its course. And, uh, but that was more about getting somewhere and less about testing. This is more about testing. So we want to let it do its thing. Uh, if it flies us into the center of a sun, so be it. Uh, that's what we want to know for sure. Okay, it looks like we just changed directions and now we're pointed, we've reoriented uh, at the waypoint. So that was awesome. I'm glad I was, I caught that. Okay, very cool. So it, it fixed us. This seems like it's working out actually. Um, whether it actually works out and what happens once we get to the wormhole remains to be seen, but we'll keep on trucking. Aha, uh -huh, very interesting. Uh, our ship appears to have stopped. Uh, we are not at the coordinates, but check this out. Uh, it looks like we are right at the edge of the gravity well of this black hole. So I'm thinking the fleets may actually be smart enough to know that they can't do this, <laughs> right? So that's very interesting. Um, I, uh, I was unaware that that was even a thing. So I think, so here's what I wanna do next. Let's take the fleet manually into the black hole and see what happens. Um, I'll go ahead and hop in the core, and yeah, look, we're being sucked in as soon as I hopped in. If I hop out, our fleet stops. If I hop in, we start getting sucked. So that's exactly what's happening. It looks like the fleet is smart enough to know. Um, let's, uh, here, we want to do K. We want to set, we want to order these to idle in formation so that, and we'll slow down. We want the minutes of midnight to uh, to catch up to us. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to fight the gravity of this uh, of this black hole. Let's see what sides it want to be on. So we'll try and fly backwards uh, to give the other ship a chance to catch up. Come on, buddy. I'll just hold shift. That'll put on the brakes. If we double if we double shift the other side, then. Uh, we can kind of free camera. So left shift is brakes, double tap, right shift will uh, let go of the camera so you can kind of fly around like this. All right, now I'm gonna let go of shift and let us get sucked into the black hole and we'll see if it takes both ships. And if it does, uh, we'll see if we can make it all the way around the loop. We're running kind of short on time though, so I don't know how much of the actual loop I'm gonna film. Uh, it's, this is going to be pretty boring though, honestly, from what I can tell. I think we're going to spend a lot of time. What happened? Order idle in formation. I think the ship gave up. It was like, nope, gravity bad, <laughs> and then gave up. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, it's still falling away from us. What if we, let's try and slow down again and see if it'll catch up. Okay, no, it, I can't decide. It's getting farther away. I just don't think our thrusters can overcome the gravity of this black hole. Like, it looks like it's so far away, and it still is. It still is pretty far, but... Okay, uh, it's catching up. Minutes of Midnight is catching up. We've got such a lead, though. I wonder if it has to do with our mass being so much less. It's not that much less, though. Not sure about that. I hopped out of the core. I wanted to see if the fleet, what the fleet, how the fleet would react. And it looks like the minutes of midnight now is trying to catch up to us. 
So, and we're still uh, accelerating rapidly toward the center of this black hole, uh, which is kind of frightening, but also kind of awesome at the same time. Um, yeah. The irony, by the way, uh, I, irony maybe isn't the right word, but the humor of this ship being called the Misguided Assumptions and using it for testing is definitely not lost on me. Oh, here we go. Space-time disruption detected. Okay, we gotta keep an eye out for the Menace of Midnight and see what happens with that. Okay, and we warped. We are now... Not that far away. It didn't take us very far, did it? I expected... Like, if you look at the arrows, I expect it to be way, like, over here. But no, we're still even in the same system as the black hole. Uh, that's a little bizarre. And are, are we being sucked back into it? I think we are. I can't tell. Let's hop up out of our chair for a second. See if we can't get a visual clue. Yeah, it looks like we're being pulled back to the black hole, so... We may be stuck in a loop. The... Oh, that's weird. My ship isn't showing up in my nearby. Oh, I forgot to shut the door. I'm terrible about remembering the doors. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, let's keep watching and see what happens. Uh, I want to encounter the Minutes of Midnight again. And find out exactly where we are, if this is accurate or not. Oh, hey, you know what? Uh, am, am, I am I being ridiculous, or were we at this other black hole the whole time? We did actually make it to another one. Yeah, I, I think I was just being ridiculous and, and not observant. But it does look like this is working. Um, if we look in the fleet menu as well, we can see the minutes of midnight is at 86,615. So let's find on the map where that is. Um... So there's 86, there's 6, and there's 15. So it looks like, so 86, 6, 15, it looks like the minutes to midnight, uh, the other ship was warped through the black hole as well. So that's awesome, actually. It looks like the fleets can travel through the black hole um, as a unit, but it seems like the ships get... Uh, get kind of injected into a random sector around the borders of the other black hole, I guess, so you can escape um, reliably. Now, my next question, though, is, is this ship going to move? Now it's at 88, 9, 11, and now it's loaded in. Okay, check it out. So, yeah. So that answers all of my questions, actually. Um, it's confirmed, then. You actually can use black holes to uh, transport fleets over long distances. That's awesome. It's not really super reliable, but it works. And that's what I wanted to find out. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. Uh, we had a lot of fun testing some stuff today. Make sure if you like the video to leave a like and uh, check out some of the other content on my channel. Uh, links in the description or in the end roll thing. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Stay tuned.